John. You're an idiot, dumb. You're you're stupid. Uh huh. Yeah. You rock paper scissors, man. Okay. Wait. That's great. Okay. Dang it, I can't believe D Goo beat me. You know what? I don't know how I could beat him. You know, looking back on it, he had some nice wheels on that windy course. I'm gonna take a look at my tires. No, oh, bananas. Is that natural rubber? Dang it! It's natural rubber. That's about as useful as a spoon eating fried chicken. <laughs> Luckily, I am a isoprene expert who got his degree from Trump University. I know exactly how to fix it. Now, rubber is made from polymers named isoprene. Isoprene? Yeah, I hope you're keen to learn about it because I'm about to show you what isoprene is. Isoprene is made up of five carbons and eight hydrogens. Therefore, its molecular formula is C5H8. Isoprene is found in trees. Where in trees? Well, it's synthesized in the MEP pathway in chloroplasts. Chloroplasts sound, sound familiar. Anyways, specifically, they're found in certain trees. Those trees include oaks, poplars, and eucalyptus trees. So, you guys might be asking yourself, or asking me, like, what are you doing talking about this isoprene thingamajig when you got a race to win, Nos? It's like, that's a good question, but I'll tell you why. Isoprene is the monomer to a lot of rubber. See, now what you do with this isoprene is, as a monomer, you do no polymerization, you turn a monomer into a polymer. So, there's certain polymerizations you have to go through to turn to specific rubber. For example, to turn uh, isoprene into natural rubber, you go through cis polymerization. To turn isoprene into synthetic rubber, you go through trans polymerization. Now, there's this crazy thing that I'm focused about to win this race against D. Goob, vulcanized rubber. Now, what that is, it's turning natural rubber into vulcanized rubber. Now, as you know, as I just stated, uh, from isoprene to natural rubber, it'd be cis, cis polymerization. Now from there, 
you go on, you bake the rubber or cook it under extreme heat and add sulfur to create crosslinks within the polymer. This creates vulcanized rubber. This is an extremely sturdy material is what makes up the majority of rubber around the world today and all the rubber of all tires. Speaking of rubber's uses, rubber is also used for hoses, hockey pucks, erasers, paint. Now in the olden days, rubber was used for balls and waterproofing baskets. No, no, you're thinking. How did rubber ever come to be? Well, I'll tell you. So it all started with a French explorer named Charles Marie de la Condamine. He was observing Omega's Indians catching Kochuk sap, and they would heat up the sap over a fire and they would mold it to certain shapes. After that, he got a little curious and he tried to do some, he tried to bring it back to Europe, but it got too hot and sticky. It didn't really work, and it just became a huge mess. And you know, the rubber game got cold for a while. You know, it just, nothing was happening. But a hundred years later, in 1839, Charles Goodyear, a little familiar name there, he came with the process of vulcanization. That's where the whole process came from. It was the process that I told earlier of adding sulfur and heating it up. He came up with that in 1839 and he had his own patent for it. It was the patent number 36333 in 1844. And after that, rubber just took off. See, now rubber took off for a lot of reasons. It had a lot of benefits. It was very durable, of a high strength, very long lasting. It's water resistant, heat resistant, had a decent elasticity depending on whether it was vulcanized or it was natural rubber. But the main part was it was had a high friction, and that's why it's so popular in all tires. That's why it's so popular in the automotive industry in general. And because of all these benefits of vulcanized rubber, when I put them on my car, that would be able to beat the goo. Is that on body? What can I do for you? I was wondering if you change some of these natural rubber tires to a uh, vulcanized rubber. Yeah, I think I can do that for you. It should take a, yeah, yeah, a couple of days. Uh, These are sure to blow D-Goo out of the water. Hey, anytime, man. Man, I love playing Jenga with all my friends. You race now, my Jenga. You're on. How did my vulcanized tires from Dave's auto body look from behind? You got lucky this time. I'm gonna rematch. You know what? Deal. Anytime, anywhere. You're wrong. 